done so yet, please pause the video and try this question on your own before moving on. We're going to begin this problem by drawing a free body diagram for the positively charged sphere. Now it turns out that there are four forces acting on the positively charged sphere. Perhaps the most obvious is the gravitational force which points directly downward and we've labeled that as mg. Because the positively charged sphere is connected to a string, there is a tension force that is holding up the positively charged sphere, and we've labeled that force T. Notice that it's acting at a 10 degree angle. In addition, we know that the positively charged sphere is attracted to the negatively charged sphere. So we've labeled a force F1 that represents that force of attraction. Now, of course, that's a Coulomb's law force. And so we just want to remind ourselves what Coulomb's law is. So the force of attraction between the positive and negative charge can be represented as a constant times the magnitude of the charges divided by the distance between the charges squared. The fourth and final force we've labeled as F2, and it turns out that that is an electric force that is being supplied by the presence of the electric field. We know that when we place a positive charge inside an electric field that points to the right, there's going to be an electric force acting on that positive charge. And of course, there's a formula for the electric force. Let's take a look. The electric force would simply be equal to the product of the electric field times the charge. Now, we're going to hold on to the results for F2 and also F1 and use them later on in the problem. Now, because the positive charge is in equilibrium, we know that the sum of the forces acting on it is equal to zero. And that idea would apply in both the y and the x direction. We're going to begin by filling in the forces in the y direction. But before we do that, we need to break the tension force into its y and x components. So let's do that next. From the diagram, we can see that the y component would be equal to t cosine of 10 degrees. And the x component would be t times the sine of 10 degrees. It's a good idea, after breaking a force into its y and x components, to erase the resultant of that force, because we really only need to be dealing with the components. We can now see that there are two forces acting in the y direction. We have the y component of the tension, as well as the mg. Notice mg, because it's pointing downward, would be negative in sign. So let's fill those into the sum of the forces in the y direction. We can solve this equation by adding mg over to the right side and then dividing both sides by cosine 10. This result for t we're also going to hang on and use later. Now again, because the positive charge is in equilibrium, we also know that the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero. We're going to come up here and do that calculation. We can see from the free body diagram that we have a few forces acting in the x direction. We have the force that we labeled F2, we have F1, and then we have T sine of 10 degrees. Notice that because T sine 10 is pointing to the left, its sine will be negative. Notice also that F1, for the same reason, will be negative. Let's fill those forces into the sum of the forces in the x direction. If we add F1 as well as T sine 10 to the other side, we can isolate F2. Recall that we developed an expression for F2, and that was equal to the electric field times Q. We also developed an expression for F1, which was equal to this expression here. So let's make those substitutions. After making those substitutions, we can clean up the workspace just a little bit. We can next develop an expression for R, which you will recall is the distance between the negative and positive charge. We know that the length of the string is 10 centimeters which of course we can call 0.10 meters. We can draw a right triangle and easily come up with the distance from here to here using the sine. Of course, the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, which in this case would be 0.10 meters. If we solve this, we would see that the opposite side is 0.10 sine of theta. Of course, we need to double that distance because we want the full distance from the negative to the positive charge. In other words, r becomes 0.2 sine theta. Returning to the equation presented here, we can divide each term by q, which allows us to solve for the electric field. Actually, this equation can simplify just a little bit. Recall that q was the positive charge from the picture, and q sub 1 would have the same value of q, regardless of whether it was the negative or positive charge. It doesn't matter because we're taking the absolute value. So this quantity right here is going to have the same magnitude as the positive charge q. We can therefore eliminate it from the equation. 
Now recall that we had solved for t and came up with the expression of mg over cosine of 10. So we can plug that expression in for t. The sine of 10 divided by the cosine of 10 can either be calculated on your calculator or simplified to the tangent of 10. And finally, recall that r, the distance between the charges, was solved as 0.2 sine theta. So we're going to be able to plug that into the equation right there. And after doing so, notice that it is still squared. Finally, we are prepared to plug in all the known values. Notice when we plug in, we've converted the 2 grams into kilograms by multiplying by 10 to the minus 3. Also remember that Q was the charge of the positively charged sphere, 5 times 10 to the minus 8, so we've plugged that in. And of course, theta was given as 10 degrees. K is the Coulomb's constant, which is also a known value. And when you calculate this, you should get approximately 4.4 times 10 to the fifth newtons per coulomb as the magnitude of the electric field. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch this. If you liked it, please subscribe so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, feel free to send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.